Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu and this is Starfish Mines for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic Part 11 of the VJ Scenario Pack. An abandoned mineral mine should prove a great spot for a theme park. Your objective to have 1,600 guests in your park at the end of October. You have four of a park rating of at least 600. Okay then. Oh, there you go. That's interesting. Is that some sort of mining equipment there? um let's have a look at the map we've got a huge lake um or sea or whatever it is there's like a l shape there maybe a dog leg or perhaps a panhandle depending on where in the world you're from um well there you go spiral slide what's that lighthouse oh okay that's cool um obviously that's not open so we'll have to add some buildings to that what have we got then? Free entry. Let's take a look at the rides we've got. We've got some transport rides. Uh, not a bad selection of general rides. A couple of coasters. Um, not really a great selection of thrill rides. Some water rides, which could be useful since there's a lot of water. And shops. But no kiosk. So quite a long scenario and i know we've got a lot of money but i figure we're not going to have a lot of space for roller coasters so that umbrella money could come in handy let's have a look what can we oh hang on oh there you go so we got some land that we can buy so i'm gonna and a little bit there so I'm going to factor that into my pathing. I think I'm going to delete the pathing back all the way to the beginning, do a small plaza there, and then branch out and add, add, add my rides where I can, little flat rides and things. Um, I'm going to leave spaces for the kiosks because at some point they are going to unlock, and then we can plonk them down. Um, Lawn is cheap if we need it. Let's have a look how much the land is. Fifty. Okay, so that's quite expensive as far as land is concerned. Um yes, yeah, so I'm gonna just build and then uh see where we get off. I'm not gonna film the whole thing. There's a few reasons for that. I've done a few of them where I've done the whole thing, and I want to see how well they do. Um secondly i've also just been diagnosed with covid so i'm gonna have quite a bit of time off i mean i'm fine um don't worry about that but since i've got at least 10 days off <laughs> i've just got to stay at home and do nothing um i'm going to try and crank out a lot of videos so by the time you actually see this video i'm probably going to be fine um but i just want to put that out there as well so i am going to make a ton of videos whilst i'm off and then they should all be released in the new year maybe do a christmas one as well um so yeah i'm gonna just start building and then we'll check back and see how we do october year one it's raining so we really could have done with that umbrella cache at the moment um built a bigger than normal junior coaster i figure since it's quite a long scenario we might as well take our time 600 guests isn't a lot of guests to do in four years so we got this set to 10 pound i've overspent on things like scenery and purchasing land i've been i've been buying land as i've been going around i'm um, still a little bit left at the top but i'm trying to do it as and when I, I go along so at the start then we've got that plaza little plaza entrance there with the gap for the kiosk so we can put them down been adding the shops as and when they unlock we've got a little maze there very simple design it is just one path all the way from entrance to exit and then we're gonna come down here and there's not a lot of space down here i mean we do have the reverse free fall coaster unlocked um but i think that would probably be a waste of space considering how low the throughput is of it um i think probably what i'll do eventually is 
maybe build a path down here, down here, maybe link the two. We've got a lot of water, right? I don't know about building on the water because the problem with I know, I know, don't overthink it and realism is overrated, but mine water tends to be poisonous. So I'm probably not going to build onto that. Plus, it'll look ugly with all the ramps going down. Little car right there. So we've got the doors and things like that. Built a little building. So, yeah, I'm just spending a little bit of extra time on, on things like scenery and, and stuff like that. Um, so as long as we do 400 guests a year, or an extra 400 guests per year, we'll be fine. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, I'm just going to take my time and try and make a nice looking park. We're still researching shops, so I'm going to keep doing that because I've got faith that there is a kiosk in there somewhere. So we're just going to keep researching and see what happens. October year two, we've got just under 900 guests. So again, another 400 odd guests this year. So we're well on target. Got a carousel there. We've got Emerald. That's the second coaster. That's Decent excitement on that. So we've got it set to three circuits. So it's just a little shuttle design. Um, I've shortened the path for the maze because was, there wasn't as many guests going on that. Added a few more shops and things. We've got balloons. That's always a, a nice money maker. Um, back down here. What have we got? I didn't show you the stats. That's, that's Wan. Shooting up, yep, Ruby. And you thought that was a guest then. Um, so decent stats on that for a junior coaster. Still charging 10 for that. So we're not making a huge amount on ride tickets because we've only got the two coasters and we haven't got a huge amount of guests. So we've got a little swinging inverted ship down there as well. Got a circus, and then we've got a bridge. So it's just a, a path going all the way along with a little wooden platform underneath and then the um I can't remember what they're called now the support structure then under that so I'll probably do something else later on a roof or something um toilet cash machine a lot of shops seating areas just there um again left a space there for the kiosk when it eventually unlocks still no sign yet again another space up here for a kiosk when that eventually unlocks when I'm building from scratch. I do like to put, um, every time I put a kiosk down, I put a toilet down. That way you've got a ton of toilets around the park. Um, that's Lighthouse. We added the entrance and exit early on. So we've still got all that land to buy just around there. We've bought the little bit of land that was there. So I think um, I want to buy all the land on this map just simply because there's not that much. Um, and it's just something else to, something to target, I suppose. Um, how are we doing for? So we're still unlocking shops, still no sign of the kiosk. Rating has been up and down. So I don't know if guests are harder to please on this one or not. It's just, it's not, uh, they just, or whatever, they just, it's something I'm doing wrong. Maybe it's just the, the shape of the map or, or something like that. I know when you click on them, there's a lot of people telling me they're not hungry and they're not thirsty. <laughs> Weird thing to think. So yeah, um, the plan is then keep, just keep uh, researching in the hope that a kiosk will come out. Buy that land, we're gonna build a path down here. Um, and then at some point, we're either gonna run out of shops or we're gonna run out of time and we're gonna need to switch up probably to um, thrill rides and then eventually roller coasters. Okay, so 
literally just after I last left you. The first ride out of year three, or not a ride, but the first shop out of year three was an information kiosk. So once we unlocked that, I switched my research into thrill rides. Um, the money that we made from the umbrella sales. Um, let's have a look, see if we can find it. Shop sales, shop sales. There you go. So we built the kiosks in March. It rained in April. We made 9,000. Then we made 7,000. So 16,000, 16,500 in two months. So that then paid for buying the land, building the path down here. We got rid of some of the shacks as well that were around and about. We might add some later. Um, but we've added a nice little go kart track just there behind the circus and interacting with the junior coaster. I don't quite like that little white thing but i'm going to get rid of that um so we've got loads of kiosks and things around the place now um little wooden wine wooden wild mine train just there quartz this one um nice high excitement on that again 10 pound steady stream of awards which is helping us because each award gives you about a boost of about 25 percent on your guest generation so you'll get a so if you flatline if you uh normally you'd have to build more rides for them to come in if you win an award they will start coming in um i haven't got the roof on that yet at some point i hope that we'll have the time and and we can do that go to the top spin just down there pirate ship just down there um, I've definitely given up on the idea of building on the water. We aren't going to need to. Little co uh, kiosk, toilet and cash machine just down there. So we are now researching coasters. We've got enough thrill rides. I'm going to put the Enterprise down at some point. Space down here, I suppose. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna put out a couple more coasters. Definitely space for one up along here, and maybe a space for another one just there. So, only another 250 guests, say, and then uh, we'll have completed the scenario. October year four, over 1600 guests. So what I've done then is I've just been focusing on finishing off some little bits of scenery and things like that. I've done the bridge. I think it looks quite nice. Um, it's not a huge park. We haven't got a lot of piling. We haven't got a lot of seating areas and rides and things like that. So I don't want to overdo the number of guests in a park. We need 1,600 guests in your, in the park. So as long as come the end of October 31st, we've got 1,600 guests, we are going to pass. If we try and cram too many guests into the park, we run the risk of it overcrowding. Um, so what have we done then since we last spoke? What are the main additions to the park? We've got this vertical drop course to here, Opal. Let's run it on test. Not sure why. What's up with the stats just there? Maybe I've had a quick final play about with them. So what I've done is I've put all the coasters and go-karts down to five pound. All the other rides I've put the free. That way then, if there's any guests in the park, they're running out of cash and they don't want to go to a cash point, they can stay in the park. So decent stats on this, simple enough design, comes down, up and around, loop, photo section, and back to the station. And then we've got the mine train just over here. Again, simple design. Just a few dips. 
and then we've gone underground maybe that could have been the entrance to an old mine and then just weaves in and out of the landscape and then back I think it looks pretty cool and then what I've done is a little sort of maybe a steel structure there so we could keep the old mine works as well enterprise at the end and it's Halloween fantastic and oh, we've completed it Stoo! fantastic yeah my voice is sounding a little croaky so oh fantastic so what you'll see now is you should see a bit of a spike in the number of guests coming to the park because we've just won another award unless i already had one and that one's dropped off and this one's just come on but um so the number of guests coming into the the number of guests in the park should increase so yeah my voice is a little bit croaky as i said at the start of the video i've actually got covid at the moment um i mean don't worry i'm all right um i actually wouldn't have bothered getting a test if it weren't for the fact that mrs stew also tested positive um because the three main symptoms that they tell you to watch out for here are high temperature which neither of us have um continuous cough which neither of us have and loss of taste of smell loss of smell or taste um which neither of us have so this is to walk up with a slight fever um so we thought oh better play it safe i better i better stay home so she went for a test that came back positive um so then her main symptom was actually nausea so then i went for the for a test then um a day or so later when because i woke up with a feeling a little cold with a slight temperature um like i say they say they say high fever or high temperatures of fever but neither of us had that it was the temperatures were slightly higher since since this whole thing came about we have sort of regularly taken our temperatures and things like that so we know where our temperatures normally are and so we know when they're slightly over um yeah and that came back positive so that was a bit weird um so now i'm off now for at least 10 days um so i'll take us up to just before christmas so i'm not sure when this video is going to go out or how i'm going to rejig them i have seen that there's some sort of wintry scenario coming up so i i could rush ahead i could go ahead and bring that in as a like a christmas special so i don't know whether you're going to get this in what order you're going to get this but i wouldn't worry about me i'm fine um i think i mentioned on another video that i believe i had it before it was famous um as is my style um back end of january beginning of february 2020 um i think at the time i even had robots do do a video for me because i was coughing so much back then um it was the worst fear i had so i don't know whether that was it and that's why i'm not suffering this time or whether it was just the worst fear i've ever had so hope you enjoyed the video my name's Stu. if you did enjoy it please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye.